Welcome to the Setting Up a Respondus Lockdown Browser Demo. In this demo, you will learn how to set up the Lockdown Browser widget to add security options to your D2L Brightspace assessments. At the end of this demo, any assessments that have these settings set up will require students to use the Lockdown Browser. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. What is the Respondus Lockdown Browser? Respondus Lockdown Browser is a program that locks out other browsers and programs that can be used to copy the assessment or communicate with others. When students take your assessment, they will be prompted to download and install Respondus Lockdown Browser. Students only have to download and install it one time, and there is no fee to the student. Once installed, the student will click on the browser, and it takes them back to our D2L login page. When they get back into the test, they will be allowed to continue to the test. They will not be allowed to take the assessment with any other browser such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. Note that sometimes there are programs such as Dell Doc and Skype that are running in the background that may require the student to disable them before Lockdown Browser will work. Now let's set up the assessment to require the Lockdown Browser. Before you can use the Lockdown Browser widget to add security settings to your assessment, you will need to create your assessment using the assessment tool. For more information on how to create an assessment, view the Creating Assessments and Adding Questions to It demo. The Respondus Lockdown Browser widget is located at the bottom of your course homepage. Scroll down until you see the widget called Respondus Widget. The first time you use the widget, you will need to check the box next to Do Not Ask Me for this application and click the Continue button. This will allow the Respondus Widget to access your course's assessment information. You will then see a list of assessments that you have already built for this course. Click the drop down arrow to the left of the name of the assessment that you want to add the Lockdown Browser to. Click Modify Settings. Click the circle next to Require Respondus Lockdown Browser for this exam. Decide to check or uncheck the box next to Require Lockdown Browser to view feedback and results to control access to results. You can add a password for the assessment in the password field if you choose. Click the plus next to advanced settings. Here you will have the following additional options. You can choose to lock the assessment so that students cannot leave until they have finished. This is a setting for use in a proctored environment. When this setting is not used, Students can leave the assessment early if their internet connection fails or in the case of an emergency, but will be required to provide an excuse that will be recorded and available to the instructor in the LDB dashboard. If this setting is used, you can enter in a password to give to the proctor to allow the assessment to be exited early. You can allow the students to take the assessment on an iPad with the iPad app. Note that this does not allow all tablets, just the iPad. Students will have to download and install the LDB app from the iTunes store. You can allow specific students to use a screen reader when taking the assessment. If this setting is used, you must enter in 
the D2L slash MyMTC username of the students who may use these devices. You can click on any of the explain links to get more information on that setting. When you are done, click the save and close button. You have now successfully used the Respondus Lockdown Browser widget.